Hi everyone, this is Hardik from Fuzzing.in. Thank you for watching my videos. In today's video, we are going to see how can we create a replication environment for some of the common vulnerabilities, what kind of tools we can use, how can we generate network traffic for them so that we can write detection for that. In today's video, we are going to use a tool called Vulhub, which provides a dockerized environment where we can install vulnerable software and uh, some of them also has a POC code which we can use to generate network traffic or we can use those POC code to uh, exploit those vulnerability and uh, we can do some kind of debugging or um, analysis using that. So let's start. Now let us start with what is uh, Vulhub. If someone gives you a vulnerability to replicate, the first thing you will do is that you will try to set up a replication environment. Now replicating uh, those vulnerability is a challenge if you don't get the particular software or if you are not able to set up the replication environment. Uh, for example, uh, there are some issues with the patch when you set up uh, or when you install the software, you are not able to uh, get that particular vulnerable software or for some reason it just doesn't work so you spend a lot of time debugging that setting up the environment and uh, instead of analyzing or instead of generating the uh, pcap to write detection uh, you spend most of your time in debugging those silly issues so to overcome this problem there is a project which is hosted on github it is called valhub and the url for this is uh, github.com slash uh, valhub uh, which you can uh, go and check it creates dockerized images for the vulnerable software so if you see it over here it has a lot of directory or folder over here like you can see there are some uh, directory for confluence for cold fusion uh, django uh, drupal elastic search electron and uh, uh, image magic httpd java and all these things so each of this folder if you go and see uh, let's say uh, log 4 j if we go inside that and if we see what does it contains so uh, you can see that it contains few uh, cv uh, directories let us go and see uh, what does this cv 2021 double four double two eight contains if you recall this is a popular log 4 j vulnerability so if you see it over here there is a docker compose uh, file if we go and see what it does is that it simply uh, downloads one image which is valhub and solar uh, that is uh, the version that is 8.11.0 and there is a port that is 8983 so when you do a docker compose uh, then what it will do is that it will download this particular uh, docker image it will set up a vulnerable environment and it will set up the so apache solar on the system and uh, then you can simply browse your uh, this particular ip that is uh, your local host or whatever ip you uh, install it on and you can access it on this port that is 8983 and to exploit that there is a simple uh, url which is given over here so you can simply use this url and you can make a request to this ip so this request will go over there and uh, you can see something like this in your DNS log. So it makes it very easy. This Docker uh, environment make it very easy to replicate uh, the supported vulnerabilities and you can easily generate the PK for that. So now first thing which we are going to see is that how can we install Valhub on our system? So you can see that there is a readme file over here and First thing you need to do is that you need to install docker so you can simply copy this command that is uh, curl s and then docker url and sh and then we can start uh, docker service using system ctl start docker i have the docker service uh, installed on my system but if you have not you can simply copy this command you can uh, press enter and it will install docker on your system now one issue you will face with this is that uh, when you try to do a docker compose you might face some permission issue. So after installing Docker, what you need to do is that you need to run a command that is uh, sudo user mode dash a uh, small a capital G uh, then followed by your Docker group name. This is a group name and this is the taste is your username. So what it will do is that it will add this username that is taste to your Docker group. So you don't need to use sudo uh, when you want to do a Docker compose up uh, thing. Now uh the usage guide and everything is given over here so to 
install Wellhub on your system, you don't need to do anything. You can simply download uh, the zip file or you can uh, do a JIT clone. So if you want to do a JIT clone, what you can do is that you can uh, copy this URL and you can run a command that is uh, JIT clone. So this will actually uh, clone the JIT repo on your system. So we can simply go to Wellhub uh, directory and when you check the directory listing, you can see that uh, it contains a lot of uh, uh, directory with different uh, software names, uh, as you can see, like uh, ActiveMQ or Airflow or Apache or uh, Nginx or uh, OpenSSH or OpenSSL. So let us do one thing. We will go inside OpenSSL. And uh, you can see that there are a couple of uh, CVs over here. So if we go inside CV 2014, this is the Heartbleed vulnerability, which was very popular. So it has a readme file. Let us check what does it contains. Uh, yeah, so this is the Heartbleed bug, which is a, a very popular vulnerability. The issue with this is that uh, when you send a heartbeat message to an OpenSSL server which is vulnerable. It will reply back, back with the data. Uh, let us try to replicate this environment and uh, let us see what else is there. Okay, so there is one SSL test.py file is there. If we simply open this and check. Okay. Yeah, so it actually sends a heartbeat, heartbeat packet and then uh, it looks for the response. Uh, this is the main function over here. It sends a SSL client hello, then it waits for server hello, and uh, then it sends heartbeat request over here. Okay, so the HP over here contains the heartbeat request. So if we see, okay. HP is over here, yeah. So this contains the heartbeat uh, request. Anyway, so our intention over here is to set up the vulnerable environment. So, uh, okay, there is one POC file uh, which is present over here and we can see one docker compass over here. So if we see docker compass.yml, uh, you can see that it downloads one open SSL uh, version that is 1.0.1c with NGX and uh, uh, then there are two ports 8080 and 8443 which will be uh, mounted on 443. So this is your local system port. This is the lock, uh, docker machine port. So docker port 443 can be accessed by uh, port 8443 on your local system, Docker port 80 can be accessed by port 8080 on your system. So let us go ahead and uh, simply do docker compose up D and see what happens. Okay, so you can see that it starts pulling the uh, vulnerable Docker image over here and it will take some time. Let us see. So the good thing about this is that it's entirely automated. You don't need to manually install any dependencies or any of the software yourself. You simply need to run one command that is docker compose uh, up and that's it. So you can see that uh, it is complete it, the download. Uh, there are total like eight, eight tasks out of which it is running seventh one. So let's wait for a few minutes, maybe a few seconds. Uh, once the uh, image is ready, we will uh, see what we can do. So I'm stopping the video right now and I will start it again once uh, the image is ready. Okay, so you can see that it has pulled the image and required dependencies and you can see that it is uh, creating a network for this and uh, it has started the container so our docker image is ready docker container is running and now what we can do is that we can actually check if it is working or not so we will browse our local host and we will see the port 8443 or 8080 so let us try uh, visiting that and see what we get https uh, localhost Eight double four three 
let's see if it works or not okay so you can see that it is working there is some certificate uh, which we can actually check this is a self signed certificate that is fine uh, yeah common name is localhost localhost okay that is fine so uh, accept the risk and continue and you can see that it responded back with heartbreak test it means that our uh, container is running we are able to access this system and let's try port 8080 anyway same thing we are getting over here right so it is working and now what we can do over here is that there is a poc code right uh, which is ssl test dot py so let us run and see what happens python 3 SSL test.py and uh, we need to give IP and port. So uh, let's give localhost and PS8443 and let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see that uh, we get a warning that server returned more data than it should. Server is vulnerable, and uh, these are the data over here so let's see if we can see something over here yeah so this is what it contains uh sending client hello waiting for server hello then it sent a heartbeat request over here and then it re received a heartbeat response over here so you can see all this data over here now what you can do is that if you want to have a pcap capture for this uh, you can simply run tcp dump uh, i localhost w artlet dot pcap and let's see what happens again okay we should be able to get the pk for this so let me see wireshark heart bleed dot pk and what does it contains okay yeah so this is the heartbeat request which you can see it over here heartbeat message and you can see that the payload length over here is too big that is 16384 byte so this is a heartbeat request and this is the issue and you can see the response over here this is the response this contains the data over here so we just saw one of the vulnerability how can we generate the uh, pk how can we set up the vulnerable environment using uh, valhub now once you are done what you can do you need to close and you need to delete this uh, docker image so for this you can simply run this command that is docker compose down hopefully it should work yeah you can simply run this command so that it removes the container and uh, uh, your ports and all becomes free so that you can run any other vulnerability let's do one thing we can now try any other vulnerability let us go ahead and see the log for j1 so we will go to see 2021 okay and we'll run the same command docker compose up and d so uh, using dash d means that uh, we don't want all the output message on this screen uh, if you want you can remove the d option uh, dash d over here and you will see all the messages so you can see that our uh, uh, vulnerable image for uh, uh, log4j is ready and what we can do now is that so let's see which port it is using okay the port is 8983 so uh, let's go to so let's try opening localhost 8983 
and see what we get my system is a bit slow but uh, this should work and let's see what is docker compost contains okay so we can see that apache solar installation over here the version for this is 8.11.0 we can uh, replicate any exploit or generate the uh, pk for this so yeah i think they have given us this pattern let us copy this and uh, yeah we can simply send this traffic using web browser so solar is over here and now we can capture the traffic as well so so tcp dump look for j.pcap and uh, let's send this traffic and we see some error over here but uh, Let's see the pcap actually. What does it contains? Okay, it is over here. So we can see that uh, the request has been made, and this is the response. So looks like there is some exception. That's why uh, it is not working. This ILDAP thing is not working over here, but that is fine. We at least got the pcap and uh, I think there should be few more POC on this or not. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is fine. I think we are able to at least generate a pcap, but this can be easily generated uh, without having this environment as well. So this is not that useful in this case. So this is how you can use Valhub to create vulnerable environment and run the POC code and generate the network traffic for that. It's very simple. It's uh, uh, straightforward and uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. It might have helped you in some way. Please do like, subscribe and share my channel. That will motivate me to create more such video. Till the next video, stay safe, enjoy and goodbye. Thank you.